been varying definitions of a while, depending on where you are in my timeline or your own, but it's been a bit. Um, this episode is the second in a long while. The previous episode I recorded, just a couple days ago, we ended up exploring a bit through Vagus Jungle and reached the ruins that uh, Ruilia told us about. As such, we are there now at the Veja Ruins Jade Temple. However, you probably either haven't watched that or haven't bothered to watch that, because the audio in it was pretty much shit. Um, <laughs> it was bad. Um, it was suboptimal. What happened was, and this explains what the whole point of the pause was in the first place, Back two episodes ago, after the, the recording that episode, the same day, my headphones just happened to break even more than they'd already broken, so they couldn't record anything anymore at all. The microphone input was just totally broke. The wire got disconnected, and a mishap of sorts. Um, <laughs> so, yeah... Um, I haven't been able to record since then. Um, I record- I- what happened was I ordered a new, uh, headset. It ended up being- well, originally I ordered a different headset that was considerably cheaper but had very good reviews, but its recording quality was really, really bad. Um, so I ended up getting this, uh, new pair of the original headphones, the fucking 8340-whatevers, um, and, yeah, I, so I got that, and I, um, set up OBS to use that, and I configured the audio settings back to what they originally were, so that, you know, you'd get the same, uh, volume and whatnot as originally, but it didn't work. <laughs> um, what happened was, yeah, the, uh, the quality, in, not the quality, the, the volume ended up coming out with the microphone way too quiet, um, so until I adjust the volume later in the uh, episode, you just can't hear me say shit for most of it. It's less than optimal. Uh, I also found out on the same day that there was, thanks to uh, having accidentally chosen the digital audio setting on my uh, on my sound settings instead of the analog one, uh, the quality was also screwed up. At least in programs besides Open Broadcast Software, I don't know if it affected OBS. I haven't compared them quite close enough to tell. It's not easy to tell when the volume is so low anyway. But I got that switched around, and, um, yeah, it, uh, should be using the original quality matching the original recordings, and the amplitude shit I got actually tested before recording this episode, so it's actually all at a reasonable place. You should be able to hear me clear enough. But yeah, we're at the Veja Ruins now, Jade Temple. And we'll check it out. Here we are. It's the Jade Temple. I'm gonna quickly uh, review the places we traveled, uh, going backwards, to uh, show off what you missed. <laughs> um, here's the Jade Temple. It's, you know, the temple that Rulia mentioned where she heard 
the vo a mysterious voice uh, presumed to be a guardian over here. Um, so, per her and I think Hex's direction, we're going to find the rest of the Guardians, and this is where we're starting. Um, the rest of the Guardians are still alive anyway. Um, cause Emilius has been killing them all, and <laughs> we can do well to get whatever advice we can. So, now we're at the Jade Temple. Place. It's got cool architecture. I'll show off the places that we explored here uh, last episode soon. But here uh, is the entrance room. I had some cool commentary about how this uh, <laughs> this song is really neat here and sort of reflects the spirit of adventure that uh, Grandia gets across. I'm not going to restate all of it. You can if I even upload the episode, uh, go to check it out yourself. It's this room. Good luck with the audio processing. Um, but yeah, it's the entrance pathway to the major ruins over here. Pretty neat place. Um, then we got the jungle path. The jungle path features, a. Uh, Several instances of this enemy. Um, it's sort of an endurance test. <laughs> if you can get through all of these, you'll probably be doing fine. Um, yeah. These guys are great. I'll fight one of them, because they're cool. <laughs> um, they have this move called Prey. They eat a giant crawfish, and you open their flower mouth, and, uh... I think it boosts their stats a bit. <laughs> also gives them access to smooths. Um, but yeah. Uh, what's going on here? Suction. Suction, I believe, doesn't actually uh, cause any damage. Noteworthy. So I'm just gonna use Flash here. Uh, I feel the power! Huh. Uh, let's see. We can probably critical this, but it's. I'd rather uh, try to stay in range of Donna's. Uh, wow. So let's just do this. Bitch, you can't tell which one is me. Hello, hello. <laughs> Keep an eye on my. Oh god. The warrior comes. Yeah. Give us That's a... <laughs> Yeah, somewhere. Okay. Oof. Oh god, suction does take a lot of MP though. Yeah. Oh wow, it does take a lot of Alright, we got our stats up. Let's see. Um, of note, Alfina learned a move called Energy Drive. Offer a prayer to bolster the courage of your allies. It recovers SP. Um, it recovers SP to everyone. Um, except for her. It's cost 50 SP to use. Originally it was recovering 25 SP to everyone, but now recovers that was since we've gotten leveled up to uh, the first P for power rating. Um, it recovers 40. It has a cool overkill animation. Oh, nurturing Watch you can all SP bar. Bring courage and love to us all! So it costs 50 to use, but redistributes 120 SP around, and this is only with one power rating, so it's good. It's just not outrageously useful for us, because we recover SP very much quickly enough through doing normal attacks anyway. It could come in handy for stuff like Donna recovering SP for dancing cards, and she doesn't do as much ordinary combos and whatnot. Throw it in the air. We can throw it in the air. Yes. Kill it though. Close. Yeah, so, uh. Hold on, we'll get to Elf's turn in a moment. Oh my god. I think I decided Quake isn't actually that powerful from this guy. Yeah, it's like. Bye. 
they don't want to stick around. Hello. Where are my fanfics posted? Oh gee, you're trying to get me to... It's, uh, archive of our own? Are you trying to look for some... No, my friend was like, Oh my god, my 12-year-old daughter is reading stuff on archive of my own, and I thought it was just harmless fanfic. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> How do I deal with that? Yeah, um, archive of our own, it's, it's not for kids. <laughs> um... Yeah. Yeah. I think I know this one. Yeah. But you're his mom, so. Yikes. Yeah. Targeting Donna. Probably suction? Yeah. Oh, wheel. I don't remember what wheel actually. Oh, I think it can inflict a sickness. Which is okay. It's not very consistent. Yeah, so Ulf got a new, uh. Ulf got a new. Uh, a new flail. Um, and his flail will make it so that you can <laughs> recover a portion of the damage you deal as hit points for yourself. Uh, it's pretty handy. Nice. Okay, this is over, Alright! We did it! I'm honestly surprised I expected it to do a new record if he had Lizard Hunter equipped, but he does not. Um, but yeah. Um, so there's these guys, you can go through and fight them all, and yeah. The, uh, path that I'm pointing to, if you look at the cursor on the map, the turtle there, points to, uh, the main Vegas jungle room, which is kind of the maze depths of the forest where you go to, yeah, uh, go through a bunch of pushing block puzzle shit. It's pretty cool. Uh, we did some treasure hunting there. Um, I don't remember getting too much of note. We got a holy cloak for Alvina, which, uh, is all around better than, um, I think she was using the silver thread rope before. It's a major boost in resilience, so I took it. Um, yeah. Donna has the angel dress. We probably got that, too. I don't remember. It's a major boost. Uh, prevents instant death. Okay, that doesn't show up as a status, though. Alright, cool. Uh, but yeah, that is a thing we have. So we went through all here and stuff. Um, also of note, as far as equipment goes, uh, while exploring the, uh, Jade Temple here, we ended up finding a new pair of shoes for Yuki called the Ninja Slippers. Uh, it drastically chops your movement by, like, not boosting it at all, but in exchange, uh, grants you warp movement. These special slippers muffle the wearer's footsteps, initiative plus ten, it's also a big initiative boost, which is appreciated. Um, yeah, so this makes you teleport across the battlefield. It basically makes your attacks execute instantaneously, and you don't have to worry about uh, running into enemies uh, when you're trying to navigate the field to, the, to your target. That's pretty handy. So here's the Jade Temple again. Um, we pretty much explored this whole thing last time. So let's quickly review what's over here. We got chameleons. They suck. So we skipped them. <laughs> um, we got this neat room with... Uh, you can push these to navigate and get down to the level below. Um, it grants you access to a variety of cool things. We got the ninja slippers down here. There was a mana egg up on this pillar. Yeah, I kind of have to solve a quick puzzle to get to it. But we're not going to do that right now. We don't need to. We already got it. Um, yeah. There's this room at the back. We 
leads to a place with a bunch of baddies that we're going to check out in just a moment. And a room here with these Sasquatch Gorilla guys. We uh, fought a bunch of these last time. They were actually an enemy in there all over the place here. Um, more chameleons. You know, the usual. I may fight one of these on the way back, but for the moment, I'm going to check out this room. This room has a rather unique threat once we get down to the base here. Um, it's, uh, these guys. They are strong and bad. Um, they're tough enemies. They're essentially the boss of this area. However, they are regular enemies, so you can flee from them, and that's what we're going to be doing. Because when we uh, encounter them, they uh, have a pretty good odds at, or rather, they have pretty shitty odds at dropping a special sword. Um, I looked into the details of how this sword works, uh, but the essentials are: it's a it's a it's a crappy sword in terms of damage. Um, it just it's like plus 25 attack. Contrast it to 60 here. Um, but it makes it so that when you kill an enemy, well, any enemy has four slots for items it can drop. And uh, um, when you use this sword to kill the enemy, it guarantees that you'll get one of the three rarer drops instead of the common one. Um, which comes in very, very useful for getting special items and equipment from later enemies who will drop actually good equipment um, and interesting stuff. So, the idea is we kill these until we get that sword. However, the sword is, I believe, the rarest, if not a very rare, um, drop from these enemies, the forest protectors they're called, and uh, well, if we don't get the sword, the forest protectors don't respawn. They just, they don't. Um, they do stick around if we leave the dungeon, but once you've killed a forest protector, it's never going to respawn. So each of these We'll see in a moment. Oh dear god. These force protectors are aggressive. Yeah, so a batch of force protectors each uh, contains two. Um, so there are eight force protectors of all. Typically you could get eight swords if you wanted it, but you don't need more than just the one. Um, yeah. I think it's reasonable to say that since we can, uh, we'll just leave three of them and kill three of the groups and fight one of them to show off the enemy and what they're like. Um, and then we'll come back here later once we have a better equipment for farming items, such as items that guarantee item drops. Um, and we'll use those to have a much better time getting uh, the sword. I went after these guys for like 45 minutes or something last episode and made no progress. Um, so since we can, can come back when it'll be easier later, it's better to do that. Um, but yeah, um, this guy's attacking Yuki, so Yuki's probably screwed. I'm gonna throw this bond and dress over at Yuki. So that he gets it's now to or never. quicker. If you get uh, hit by any of their normal attack, you uh, are gonna get cancelled. Protect you. And getting dinged is important for a variety of reasons, um, which we'll see momentarily, most likely. All right, this guy's targeting everyone, which. Uh, 
this is optimal. We're gonna fail to cancel it. Omni user. This is a uh, one of the reasons. It does quite a bit of damage. Considerably less if you have digging up. But uh yeah, you don't want to get hit by that when it's full power. Athena actually has a skill equipped which negates minimal damage, so that's why she can take anything from this. Leave this to me. Let's get everybody healed back up. I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure the dig in boosts uh, the power of healing magic. Which is still hilarious. Okay, um. Yeah, you can cancel that if you can do that. We do need to get uh, our attack boost and shit up, though. Alright, normal attacks. These are fine. Uh, I feel the power. Huh. Huh. <sighs> ah, well. Okay, let's go after you. This might hit everyone. No hit. Nice. I think that it, um, well, I did the Pearl's attack. Okay. Don't. over there. Oh wait, you're Yuki. No, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> uh, let's try this. It's now or never. Yuki's critical has a delay. I mean, all moves do, but... Okay, come on, you got this. Uh, let's get the body healed. Nice. But yeah, see, he warps over to the enemy, so it's good for closing distances like that quickly. Okay. Um, not too much to do right now, honestly. Let's uh, throw a runner on Wolf. He can get no, Shadow Warrior up in a moment. Now see, here's Forest Encha. It's not a move you want to get hit by, and currently no one's in range, so we're just gonna vibe over here. Yeah. It, uh, has a much bigger visual reach. Nice! Um... I think I read that, uh, if, a, if it drops an item, it's actually gonna drop that instead of money, which is pretty hilarious. Um, but yeah. The, uh, Forest Stench inflicts, uh, no damage, but it inflicts status debuffs all around, so it's gonna decrease your attack, defense, and speed. Um, it's not good. Uh, thankfully it doesn't overwrite, it simply, like, neutralizes if you, for example, already have defense up, it's just going to neutralize that defense and bring you back to, uh, zero boost there. Oh, I forgot to, uh, do the thing. Hold on. Shut up. That count as a counter. Nice. Bye. Shut up. Just do bye. We did it! Nice. Yeah. Um, so, they're not actually that bad. As far as fighting this. Um, I'm going to refrain from getting hit by these unsuccessfully. Is the plan? Uh, but yeah, I don't want to fight any of these besides just the one group to show them off. Shit. Oh, 
Um, really, you survive? Yes, barely. <laughs> no problem. Fine by me. Okay, fine. Did we make it? Yes. Golden elixir. What's that? Golden elixir. Right at the bottom. A golden elixir that invigorates those who drink it. Restores 200 SP. That's a pretty big deal. Damn. Again, not outrageously useful for us, but uh. Oh god damn it! What are you doing here? Thanks, Alf. Ha! Kiss my tail. We uh, equipped a skill that makes him go faster. This pressure plate drops the barriers. Well, raises them, I guess. Fine, drops those ones. Beautiful. And gives you a clear cut to the hair because if you miss it, you're gonna get hit by the enemies. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else in this room. Um, but yeah, we'll leave those three and come back to them when we have a better item for the equipment. There's a big ass button in here. Dicks. We of course didn't really see this cutscene last time. Lots of fun getting here. And there open the doors! Don't need cutscene. <laughs> okay. Well, we know where we're going. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get through these guys. No encounter. Come on. Easy peasy. Oh. Run! <laughs> Barely. There's no chest here, is there? No. I don't know how well this does for vertical detection of things. And this way and take the lift back up. two of these guys, but I guess there's not only the one. Uh, we'll fight it to show off the, uh, battle show off these guys. There's five of them. Um, yeah, this is less than optimal. <laughs> I think that they only use domination on male characters. Digging up. Alright, what's going on here? Boulder drop. Alright, that's fine. And, uh. Yeah, let's see. This is probably not a bad idea. Alright, here's I used Craze to tackle these guys the first time, and I do think that's the best way to go against them. Snooze isn't a bad That's way right. to get these Time's guys killed right away. Just in time. Come on. Hit him. Yes. Both of them. Nice. Cool. May as well get my own right now. It would be great if we were bunched together, but we're not because we do not the warriors spawn come. that formation. Give us strength. Yeah, when you target enemies, uh, surround it. When you target enemies by, uh, hitting them, 
uh, getting a, whatever the word is, you know, swinging your sword on them on the battlefield, and then running in. You get this formation where everyone surrounds the enemy, which would be good if it bunched Yuki and Elf together, but it does not. It's always Yuki and Donna and Elfie and Elf, or players 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. I'm not sure if a decreased move makes it so that your actual individual swings go slower. Oh, this sucks. Yuki's gonna get hit by this enemy, invariably, and get a counter hit because, uh, yeah. Because he moved too fast. Uh, you can't dodge an attack if you're in the process of attacking. Bitch, you can't hey, tell Alfina, which one is can me. you cancel that, uh... <laughs> this Keep an eye on my shadow! But like... But like this one, though. Thank you. I don't want to do that, let's just attack. trade-offs instead of simply exchanging um, skill slots. But less. Okay. We're gonna heal up for a... I hate to spoil this, but there's no boss in this dungeon. <laughs> something goes terribly wrong. But, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Let's just check OBS and make sure that's still working. Yeah, looks like it. 34 minutes in. Cool stuff. Excuse me. Okay, let's see what's up here behind the doors. Whoa. Got an egg. Flavors. Oh yeah, we got it. another healer egg, which is the egg that boosts two of everything. It's not useful for, uh, it's not really useful for being equipped, but it, uh, it could come in handy for a fusion. Tree egg? Is that water three? Maybe it's got some earth in it? Tree egg! Earth two, water two. Okay, not terrible. <laughs> we'll come in handy. <laughs> and we got this big lift. Veja Ruins Cavern. This looks ominous. <laughs> I 
love it. It doesn't rotate to match that. Hi, Mr. Dude. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Dude. You gotta agree that this game looks really cool, though. It's, like, reflective, too. That, uh, looks like the place to be safe. Let's see what's up with Mr. Guardian here. Hi, Arceus, what's up? Emilius will be here soon. He's coming to take the life of the last guardian. What? So you mean that? Then... then Yoda's dead? That is impossible! He just can't be dead! <laughs> Sorry, Elf. Seba! Why did he choose my brother? Why did... Zorn do this to him! <laughs> the answer you seek is within you, Alfina. What? The bonds between people can cause them great sadness and suffering. But those bonds are also their greatest strength. Our greatest strength? Alfina, you are a communicator, but you are also human. The bonds that tie you together, they are your only hope. But Seba... Both Drac and Yod gave us guidance on our journey. Seba, I'm hoping you can help us as well. What should we do next? Simply believe. Believe in the bonds with those you love. With those you love. This is the guardian that we see, uh, coming right from, uh, the verse realm, though, so maybe it's not as much of an aside as it could be. The power of the bonds. You must believe in it, something only possessed by humans. I think you're, uh, phobic against dogs. <laughs> And also, like, uh, I don't think that the, 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 that the people in the verse realm count as humans. I don't remember, like, if they have a specific name, but, uh, whatever. <laughs> you do, you do. Thanks for the advice. You're not wrong in principle. Let's check it out. See what the hell's going on out here. Emilius is coming. Breaking news at 11. Um, 
yeah, let's, uh, see if we might not die. Um, yeah. Apologies for the slowdown. <laughs> I tried decreasing the graphic resolution. To 1x native resolution the other last recording, but it didn't seem to have much of an effect on general gameplay, so I doubt it would just do anything here. None here, though. Until we come back, anyway. Major Ruins entrance. Oh, God. a peaceful new world. Tell me, what happened to that dream of ours? <laughs> now, I have the power to do that. No! What you got at Sermania Zero was... The ultimate power. Zorn's power. <gasps> Emilius. My dearest... friend. This is the end. He's gay. My children, you must not put your eyes from the truth. Saber. Oh, Damn you, Amelius! <laughs> Dear. Finally we meet. Last of the Guardians. Alfina, you are a communicator, but you are also human. of them all. Zorn! Now! You are free to be reborn at last! No! No, don't! Oh, God. of the battle, Sermania. It's coming back to life. Ah! Zorn and I shall be one. <laughs> Soon.
Thanks, Yuki. No accessing a menu or anything from here. Um, this story goes in pretty dark places. I believe it's not until the last cutscene? Yeah. But I'll... I'll give a quick disclaimer that... Content warning for a scene of self-harm in this, as well as, you know, just general um, delirium and violence and shit like that. Emilius' music box, it meant so much to him. He used to keep some of my treasures in it for me. big for this now. I can't believe I grew up so fast. Alvina's mind. You were the only one I could play with growing up. She was my only friend. Emilius gave her to me. Let's make one, right? Hey! 
Hey, did you hear the news? No one knows the whereabouts of Emilius. Well, today was his first day at the ceremony. He's probably a little nervous. Right then, let's split up and run a search. You go that way. Emilius, where are you? Emilius! What is it? Everyone's so worried. There you are, Master Emilius. No! I don't want to be a communicator! What are you saying? That mark on your hand is proof that you were chosen. No! This Ronald mark is just a lie! Get back! of a hole. Oh God. I always thought that sharing half of the mark with Amelius is what bonded us together, but to him it was different. It won't open now. I guess I can never go back to that day. Emilius didn't only refuse to be a communicator, he rejected the Guardians, his incomplete self, and... me. This is the last door. <sighs> hey, were you peering into my mind? Your mind? So all this must be images from my mind. You can't go in here. Why not? Please, let me through. No! Why can't I pass? For your own good. My own good? You're lying. No! Please, don't open it. It's scary. Too scary. Let go of me! I'm sorry. But... I'm just... I'm tired of running away.
Yes, I'm finally complete. Now, no one can say that I'm half a person. <laughs> Oh no! I must have dozed off. She's gone. Alvina! Alvina? Why? Why doesn't he want to be connected to me? Why would he want to hurt himself like that? Why would he laugh the way he did? Snap out of it, Alfina! The Guardians are all dead now. I'm the only one who can save my brother. I just... I have to go! Wait! Alfina! <clears throat> I can't imagine what Emilius is going through. But... But I'm sure I can help. Let me! Yes, helping one another. That is the true power of the bonds between you. It is time to open the gates. The gates to melt. A guardian's voice. Yuki! There's a guardian still alive somewhere! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yuki is nothing if not a supporter friend. It's nice to see you're up and around again, Alfina. I'm so sorry for worrying everyone. Hey, look on the bright side. Now we know there's still a guardian out there, right? Shh, he doesn't know what he's saying. Huh? How do you know that, Ulf? Uh, sorry, Donna. Couldn't keep my trap shut. So, if both of you were awake all that time, then... I don't know. We didn't see a thing. Nothing at all. <laughs> to go to Melk, right? All we know is that it's somewhere up in the sky, but we can find it. Amazing. Yeah, so we're here now. Um, yeah. That's, uh, the shenanigans, um, of Alfina and Amelius's past. Played as drama, but <laughs> yeah, it's part of the story. Um, yeah, so there's not a whole lot to say about anything that went on there. Um, yeah, but that's a uh, Alfina and Emilius' relationship is complicated, and the rest of Disc 2 is, especially with that, going to delve into just what their connection means. 
Islands. So, get ready for a lot of exploring that. Okay, we've been recording for one hour, and I usually need to go for around two or so. Um, so, we're gonna fly, but we're gonna go and uh, take a sleep somewhere. A guardian we've never seen. We'll get to Melk, I just know it. No matter what it takes. Excellent voice acting me. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah, we got the new uh, plane theme now. And it's freaking awesome. I love this theme. This is the dual shipping control com company control room with a weather report for any nearby planes. The high pressure that developed recently shows no signs of dissipating. We should have clear skies for a few days. Remember, this is no overtime week. Get your work done well and on time. Well, there's no... This has been a message from the Jewel Shipping Company control room. Also called a Mirage Castle, it can suddenly disappear when unwanted visitors approach. First time in two years. Really? Who's the lucky bastard who got it? Some kid just out of diapers, I hear. He's flying with some cute little blonde thing too. Come on. No, it's not fair. I deserve to get at least one or the other. I guess that means you owe me a seven-course meal. <sighs> oh man, but the girl on the weather report said it was gonna rain. going. Look a little closer. That's my grandma. I'm giving her a ride. I want to show her what it's like up here while she's still well enough to come. Hey, is anybody there? Is anybody flying nearby? Take a look at my new plane. What happened? You finally get that Schmidt custom job you've been wanting? Nah, he just won't sell those brands of his, planes of his. But look, I got a brand new paint job. Not bad. I'm surprised that Penny from his wife of yours let you do it, though. Uh, I haven't told her yet. Is this thing on? 
<clears throat> I have a special message for any pilots listening. The old beauty beyond is under new management. The money casino is having its grand opening. We're open 24 hours a day by Sabotar Harbor. Please stop in and see us. Is that... Yes. Alright, let's head to... There are a couple places we can head. Amphog, of course. Hey, when you were a kid, what did you think was up here in the sky? Heaven was somewhere up here, you know, with angels and stuff. Then this should make you happy. I just saw a giant white castle floating in the sky. This volcano looks, uh. This looks evil. If heaven really exists, I think it would, it would be just like that castle. Hello? Can anyone hear me out there? My name's Delta. I'm a nine-year-old boy who loves ham radio. Delta lives in the... Well, I assume Delta lives by the Delta. God damn it. <laughs> I've got a question for you pilots out there. What does it feel like to fly in the sky? Is it fun? Is it exciting? Or is it scary? I always imagine what it must be like. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye! So cute. Okay. Um. And Fog is over here. Let's go. Wait, what's this town? Shit. Whoa! Whoa, my god! I'm pressing the wrong buttons! <laughs> Jeez. What is this town, though? Oh, that's Mindy! Okay, we're gonna want to head here, too. Um, since I think it's got the only place we can guarantee the uh, rest. But for now, let's take out Anvog by running into a fucking volcano. Oh god, uh... Actually, let's go for this. Look at the waterfall! It just doesn't give a shit about that lighting. not thundering and stormy here. That would be really cool. <laughs> Hi again. So, Yuki, what does it feel like now that you have an airplane that can go anywhere you want? I never really thought about it. But I kind of feel like it doesn't matter what happens as long as I can fly. <laughs> How nice. Um, it may be the same scenario as last time we were here. Yeah. I think so. In which case, there's minimal new to be found here, but, uh... I'd like to be sure about that. Let's check with, uh... Garcon over here. See how he's doing? You see, Mr. Clay, you were all gray and moist, and now you're a nice, plain-looking pot. How lovely! I love you, Garcon! I don't get it. What on earth is that man doing? He likes to imagine the finished pot in his mind before starting. He may not look it, but he's a master potter. He's just an old kook, if you ask me. Wait, I'll prove it to you. You're a kook, right, old man? Who? Me? 
me? You can't fool me, you old freak! Wait a minute! My pot talked to me! This can only mean I'm on the right track to the perfect pot! Yes, I am about to become a legend! I'm under something big! I know it! <laughs> okay, that's admittedly new dialogue! <laughs> Jeez. There it goes. How's the magic shop doing? Y'all still selling? Welcome. Can I interest you in some magic? Handmade right here in Anfong Village. Nothing, stores. Feel free to come in and see me anytime. There aren't many people who can use magic here. Don't get much business. Okay, but this magic store looks really cool. <laughs> it's cozy. Miranda's house, no one's home. What's it here? Gladys's house. She's out and about. Oh, Yuki! Do you know why airplanes can fly? I just heard myself. Well, the wings create lift, which in turn... That's right! Wings! Those little birds must flap their wings faster than the eye can see. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's not new. Anyone at Gladys's? Strange things are happening. I hear the saboteur fishmonger had to close up shop because the fish just aren't biting. Could the first spears be affecting Anfog Village too? Nah, I think most of the stuff here is the same as before. Come back after some other major shenanigans. Alright, but there are two places I want to go first, uh, of bigger note, namely, Mendy, which may have a new quest for Hano, but probably won't, and, but it also has the, listen, do you hear anything in the sound of the rushing water there? <sighs> Not really. All of you hear anything? Nope, I think the old guy is hearing things. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I've been listening to the water day after day for years. And it seems almost like it talks to me. Good morning, good afternoon, nice weather we're having. I think I know what you mean. Yuki's always saying how the sky seems to talk to him, right Yuki? That's true, it seems like the wind and sky are telling me, go, fly. So I guess I understand. Ho oh, ho ho, the sky talks to you, does it? Anything as big and wide as the sky must be very wise indeed. I know that wasn't new, I just like it. It's cute. Okay. Let's head out. How lovely. It's always so somber. Auto first and see if he's got anything going on. Uh, he's up over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that nothing will be new here. Yep, all the same scenes. I'll check anyway, but like. I'm sure this is going to be the same as before. Hello, Otto. Hey, mister. That kid gave the last page of the story back to the storyteller. I guess everything turned out alright then. The storyteller can finish his story now. 
Yup, I don't know if he was more surprised or happy when he got that page back. He had a strange expression on his face. Yup, same as before. I'm not sure if there's maybe one more quest. I know there's at least one more, uh, change in events. Um, that comes later, but... Probably at least, probably two. Uh, but yeah, things are the same here. Still, uh, our own story has changed, so uh, let's see if there's a new scenario at the end. And then check out Bakula as well, because Bakula also has an end. Hello, you look like you're quite tired. I know, some of my fresh baked bread will make you feel better. Stay the night and eat supper. Oh, Divine Yod, Master of the Earth, thank you for these blessings that we are about to receive. This music is not fitting. The Guardian's really dead? Seba can't be wrong. Drag, Yod, and now Seba. All killed by that bastard. Damn him! Two years ago, when Emilius came to Bakula, he didn't have that madness in his eyes. It was that power, Zorn's power that changed him. What was he like as a boy? He was so kind and gentle. I remember once he saw a dragonfly get eaten by a bird and he burst out crying. He asked me if there was any way for us to live without hurting any other living thing. It always bothered him. As I remember him, Emilius was a wonderful big brother. Kind, dependable. Somehow I just can't imagine him crying like that. Now that I think of it, everything started that day two years ago, when Emilius came to visit Raven. That was when the two of them went to the first realm, wasn't it? I wonder what happened to them there. They talked animatedly in the chief's tent all night, and when the morning came, they were already gone. I had no idea what happened at the time, but I suppose they must have made their decision that night. Excuse me. But he doesn't have any trace of human feeling left in him. He's just a monster. Alfina. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make you feel bad, Alfina. It's just that I... It's all right, Alf. You're right. My brother is... Yes, and he's quite a strong one, too. He's an even better swordsman than Raven, and now he's got Zorn's power. Raven and Amelius did seem to be pretty amazing fighters, but... I'm not so bad myself. Zorn's power has changed my brother. I guess we'll be facing off against him sooner or later. Can we really win if it comes to that? If we can beat Raven and the Guardians, what chance do we have? Don't worry, we'll win. He, we couldn't even touch Emilius in our craft, but we've learned a lot since then. And we've got the orbs that the Guardians left for us. <laughs> that is for use during this playthrough, but... We can't lose. Hey, it's eight against two. How can we lose? Eight against two? If Emilius and Zorn are the two, then... There's four of us, right? Then there's Drac, Yod, and Saba. Add Griffin, you've got eight! And the last guardian we're going to see now makes it nine against two. It doesn't seem so bad when you put it like that. Watch out. Emilius has four targets in battle. I'm sorry. 
I'm the oldest one here, and yet you're trying to encourage me. Yes, the spirits of the Guardians are protecting us. I'm sure we will be victorious. That's right, Yuki. We'll win, won't we? And it's not like we're definitely going to be fighting Emilius. Our enemy is Zor, not Emilius. Right? Yes, you're right. Yeah, there's still one more Guardian. Nine to two. This'll be a piece of cake! Well, I'm full. Let's go and meet the final Guardian, Alfina. I'm sure we'll feel better when we do. Oh, just a minute. I just want to hear a bit more about what everyone is thinking. Okay, Yuki? No problem. Let us go. We have to find the last Guardian. We have to know the truth. Thank you, Yuki. Yes, we don't even know that we'll have to fight Emilius. I'm sure we'll feel better when we do. I'm sure. Yes, let's go. Wherever the light of the orbs will guide us. Let's see. Well, it's something. Have a quick stop in at Bacula. Um, let me check my inventory. What? All the good things. And see what's up there. Um, before we head to Bacula, I'm going to get my web browser open. And see if it doesn't take forever to load, like it always does. I would like to check um, for information on where best to achieve the Lucky Book, which is an item which, uh, a skill book, which with its skill extracted, I believe there's two, but the more important one is that it will make it so that whenever you kill an enemy, an item drop is Guaranteed. Um, it's sure to come in handy, particularly against those uh, forest protectors. It's not going to make it particularly easy to get the f rares drop, but it's still better odds than if we were fighting, say, the golems. Come on, Firefox. up with Aurelia first. All this should be the same. Yoda's been living in those ruins for as long as I can remember. I'd like to get a look at him once before I die. No matter where you are, your soul resides throughout this entire land. Did you forget about that? Sorry, I know it's materialistic of me to say I want to see the Guardian. Those supermarket workers polluted my thoughts. Hold on, why are you looking so down all of a sudden? What happened? Did I really offend you that much by saying I want to see the Guardian? Oh. <sighs> Bianca is so pretty. I wonder where she could have gone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if a Bianca like the one on this sign really existed? I'm sure the real Bianca is out there somewhere, actively pursuing her goals. Bianca is my first crush, but by the time I noticed, it was too late. I wish I could have met her when she was here. But the dialogue here does seem to change, what with 
you know, passing and all that. Doesn't look like anyone's out and about. Come on, Firefox. Yes. Hello. My husband and daughter have been arguing constantly. I'm exhausted from trying to calm them down. A family fight? How did that happen? Because both of them are really stubborn. Incredibly stubborn. Excuse me. My husband's been sitting on his rump for a year. Just following the code, he claims. We carried him when we moved. That sounds pretty stubborn. But arguing every day? I think it's good for them to release their true feelings like that. It just wears out those around them, namely me. We need to move out as soon as possible. I mean, we can't keep driving the people who live here insane. Almighty Yote, protector of the land, keep our world safe and devoid of impurity. Excuse me. Almighty Yod, use your great power to cast light upon the world. Baculon, her people have changed, and some of the people have even lost their minds. Lost their minds? One of my family members, she won't listen to me, gets angry if I look at her, and won't use the toilet after me. Today I tried to talk to her, but she just got angry and stormed out of the tent. Basically, your daughter's ignoring you. That's right. Did you say something awful to her? I only scolded my daughter for spending money on junk at that outsider's market. Don't worry about it, Pop. She's at that age where she gets mad at Dad for no reason. You did it too, right, Donna? M me? Well, I can't deny it completely, but I wasn't much of a rebel in my younger days. I was always a little envious of the rebellious girls. But I also felt guilty for feeling that way about them. Why did this have to happen? As a father and as a Baculani, I only did it for my daughter's future. I've done nothing wrong. Who even is she? a pretty large family. The tent is packed with people. Since that supermarket went up, we've all been forced to move into this tent. This isn't really my family. My father and brother, they died out on a mission. The only family I have left is my wife. I heard they were wonderful people. I'm proud of them, but it was all predestined. Their fate as heroes of the land. Am I just gonna rot away in this village without ever going out on a mission? <laughs> Sorry, dude. The inn! It'll be there momentarily, but not quite yet. Almighty oh, Yo. Fuck, this isn't the way she uses. Oh, mighty goat, we thank you for the blessings you provided to us on this fine day. I'm sorry. If you don't mind, I'd like to pray with you. Of course, Donna. Come sit here next to me. Alright. Oh, mighty goat. Oh, mighty goat. Here's those prayers. Donna, what are you planning to tell your people what really happened? Now is not the time. Once everything is over, I'll discuss it with Aurelia, and we'll decide how to deal with it. Almighty Yote. Yote. We can use the orb you gave us to stop Zorn. I just know it. So sweet. My tooth kind of hurts. Let me 
already seen it. Looks like you've got a cavity. You better stop eating those things. Cavity? What's that? It's a kind of sickness. How many of those sweets have you been eating? Crepes, crepes, crepes. My three meals a, day, meals a day are crepes. I don't feel like eating other foods anymore. Starting today, no more crepes for you then, young lady. If you keep eating them with that cavity, all of your teeth will fall out. Huh? Okay, okay. I won't eat any more crepes, Donna. Just stop saying such scary things. Uh, I don't mean to kill your business, but, um, how's it going with the kids? Are they buying up crates like hotcakes? I'll eat any leftovers you got. They're a big hit now, but maybe you should come back after dinner. I'll be waiting. Happy children gathering in front of this shop on a fine day. This is exactly how a real crepe shop should be. You said it. Being surrounded by children and all makes your crepe shop look right at home at Bacula. Why did you include all for the children? D did I? I guess he just fits in so well with them, it just came out. Ha! No matter how old I get, I'll always eat like a growing boy. Ulf, aren't you like freaking 17 or something? <laughs> You're not an adult. <laughs> Manager. That old woman in front of the flower bed has been out there for so long. I'm surprised she doesn't get sunstroke. She's in a state of meditation and praying to Bacula's guardian, the mighty Yod. Oh, that's right. Yod, that god who looks like a ram. What type of god is he, anyway? I mean, we've got the god of exam. For exams, the god of medicine. Yod is guardian of the land. He produces he produced the earth and brings peace and stability to its inhabitants. Um if possible, we'd be grateful if you could offer a prayer to Yod now that you're living in the desert. Sure, no problem. Now that we're working in the desert, we might as well pray for help, right? <laughs> Hello, Yod. Yoohoo! I pray that large prophets will blow our way out here in the middle of the desert. for leaving the village. That's not true, Donna. But... You're right. There's no use in feeling guilty about it now. Let's go. We have a mission to take care of. For Yod and for the entire world. animal can be more sensitive to events than humans. They might be aware of what happened to you. Come on. Da 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 da! Doom doom doom! Da da da! Oh, so, yeah! Uh, why are you strumming like that without a guitar? Didn't you buy one yet? Da dang! Ah, I haven't sir, scraped up enough cash, cash to buy a real one yet, so I'm practicing like this. The music dude told me this is called air guitar. Air guitar? But you're just flailing about with, without a guitar. He told me to focus my passion on playing the air first. Da 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 dum 
da ding uh, Looks like an air guitar, right? Na 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 nang nang! Bwang wang wang! <sighs> I've gotta get my hands on a real guitar soon. Uh, I hope the guy at the place isn't being a pain about it. Maybe clothes from the supermarket will be hanging here soon. Well, let's check out that supermarket. Is that from the sea, too? Like coral? It's called a pearl. They're found inside of shellfish, and we call them concretions. You know what that means? Nope. Basically, that is to say... Just ask your grandpa. Anyway, it sure is pretty, isn't it? A mystery of the sea. How can I get to the sea? By horse, by airplane, but it's far and you'll need money. It always costs money to go on a journey. But the man at the gate told me we can't make money by working in Bacula. Well, maybe when you grow up, you can work in this supermarket, save up some money, and go on a trip. Sound good? That's it. If I could work at this supermarket... If you lived your whole life in the East, anything from the West looks exotic. That girl is fascinated with my store. I used to be like that. Each time I took flying lessons as a kid, I'd pretend to get lost so I could fly farther away. Now <laughs> everybody thinks I have a poor sense of direction! I wanted to travel across the sea, and I was caught as a stowaway at age 10. I became a sailor then, but it was dull. I wanted to make it big at something, so I came here. That's just the opposite of what you planned. But not bad. <laughs> I was determined to get out and do something big. That little girl staring at my products will probably leave the desert one day and go out on a journey herself. Come see my fine products. I've got top-notch clothing from around the world for you to buy. Look at them. Nice, huh? Excuse me, lady. Aren't you General Ruilia's sister? The general took such good care of me. I'm sure you're exaggerating about that, and I don't think she deserves to be called a general. No, no, the title suits her well. She was the leader of this entire operation, and Lady Bianca was her main advisor. I used to sell potatoes in Savitar, but I set my mind on bigger things, and here I am in the desert. Sabotar is in the south. Not much demand for potatoes. You're exactly right. But when I met Lady Bianca, my life changed for the better. 180 degrees. Listening to your story, it sounds like Bianca is anything but a bad person. She definitely doesn't sound like the Bianca I know. Well, nobody's perfect, you know. But I'm sure she'll learn from her past mistakes and be a better person for it. Say Ed, play a little something for us. Focus your energy into the fingers and pound all the way on those keyboard keys, baby. Why do you never tire of this nonsense? Day after day. Oh, it looks like Say Ed is going to play the organ. You're annoying, man. Just devote your entire being to producing bodacious sounds. The power of rock will save you from all your problems. He's playing it. What is this feeling? I feel a warmth, a vibe deep down in my soul. Say it. I felt your heart and soul in that last groove. Let's take our new sound and on the road and rock the world. was 
borne through my, through my fingertips, filling a void within me. Is this what music does? Oh my god. I love it. I... Thank you for shopping at the Grand Mar Super Chevalier de Viance. I am Jean Rial, general manager of the supermarket. Today's recommendation. You're working hard! No one would ever suspect you were Bianca's thug. <laughs> Wipe that grin off your face, kid. I went through a heap of manners training for this job. It ain't easy. I never thought it would come to this. It was going so well at first, we had Chief really and all the people con. But she was caught? Not exactly. Bianca and that Chief got along like two peas in a pod. What? So for the future of this village, they decide on a supermarket instead of a casino. They sent me up here as... Jean. But Bianca ran away. If she finally got her act together with a real job, why did she run? Some of her past victims tracked her down here, so she took our profits and ran like the wind. Same old Bianca. But I got so tired of running, and coming here was the perfect chance for me to start over. So I stayed behind. Good for you, dude. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Kevin. Alright. Let's, uh... Get in touch with real, yeah. Chief Donna, I ask you to discharge me from duty. I can no longer bear the guilt of my wrongdoing. You seem greatly troubled. What happened this time? The other day I heard what really happened from the supermarket manager. I played a part in aiding Bianca's escape. The night before you returned, a lot of men came and forced their way into the chief's tent. I beat them all severely and drove them out, but... They were victims of Bianca's scheme trying to catch her. So Bianca slipped out of the village while you were fighting. And I played a part in this evil scheme. First I put up that awful sign in front of the entrance, and now this. You have nothing to be ashamed of, as you only fulfilled your duty as a guard. And if Aurelia would have seen those men catch Bianca, she would have been devastated. But I can't accept what she did. You forgive me for helping that fly-by-night swindler get away? This means so much, I don't know how to thank you. Cool, dude. Don't worry about it. You good. She sent. You're looking, uh... Hyped. You all went to meet the Guardian in Vegas, didn't you? I'm so happy I was able to help out a communicator. We're all very thankful, but... Can I ask you something? What did you do to this tent? Oh, I'm so glad you noticed! Actually, a friend of mine designed it for me. Could that be who I think it is? Her name is Bianca. Have you met her? No, we're just... Did you say Bianca? Bianca is so amazing. Before she came here, she was managing a recreational facility in a port town. She's really quite the industrialist. What a smooth talker. You might get mad at me, Donna. But I plan to continue making this village into a brighter, freer, happier place for everyone. My plan is to make the entire village an oasis for anyone traveling in the desert. Bianca is really quite greedy and short-tempered, but she taught me something important about the new Bacula. I can't imagine her good side. Very well, Rulia. You're the chief of this village now. Do whatever you want with it. I support you in this, if it's truly your dream. I trust you no matter what happens. Donna! Thank you! Bianca left the village already, but I plan to make a new, exciting, wonderful Bacula. I won't let you down, Donna. Lovely. I wonder what would have happened if Raven and Amelius had never met. to 
champion. Oh wait, I think I missed one of the tents. <laughs> uh, which one was it? <laughs> Oh shit. Don, do you get the feeling our villagers are changing? I think they'll be able to live comfortably without a mission. But is that really a good thing? Of course it is. I'm sure they'll never forget to thank the guardians for their well being. The villagers are starting to become more independent. I'm sure Yote is very pleased with this. I know. Now that we have a communicator with us, why don't you go to the ruins and ask him? Well... No, that won't be necessary. I'm sure Yod is very pleased, just as you say. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Did something big happen? You've never been good at hiding your feelings from me. What's wrong, child? I'll tell you someday, but now is not the time must be very important. Oh well, when you're ready to talk, discuss it with Ruelia. Thanks, Ants. Pretty sure I still missed one of the tents. I don't see it, though. Like, hypothetically, there should be a tent too, right? Just in time for supper. I just finished setting everything up. Did you hear that? Supper's ready! This must be fate! Let's eat some kebabs and get some sleep! Very well. I'm a bit tired myself. Let us eat and get some rest. The desert wind, the familiar faces. It's such a relief being back in Bakula. You said it! I'm about ready to sink my- sink my teeth into those kebabs! From above, the oasis looks like a blue jewel in the sand. You're a regular poet, Alvina! Did that sound strange? I think it sounded great, Alvina. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I was insulting you or anything. Okay, time for stew. Whoa! This tastes different! I can't really tell. My tongue never lies. This taste, it's much better. <sniffs> Way to go, innkeeper! Woohoo! It's good to see your village is still safe and sound. A glimpse of hope in the madness. I thank you for protecting my people. And I pray that your village is safe as well, Yuki. What happened, Ulf? Why are you crying? Stu is my new friend. The meat's not yacht, not soggy, yet boiled to a tender perfection, complemented by various spices. I, I'm so glad to be alive. My people back in the Valley of God to try this. Maybe we can get the recipe from the innkeeper. I'll try asking her. Yuki's village. If I had met Yuki and Miranda and Anfog, I can't imagine how this journey would have turned out. I'm sure Anfog is just fine. Zorn doesn't have any interest in pottery, after all. Anfog. I wonder how Miranda is doing, Yuki. She's probably somewhere out at sea with Alonzo right now. You're flying the skies and your mother is sailing the seas? What an active family. I guess so. But Miranda used to be so overprotective, she even told me to give up flying. When I tried to leave the valley once, she went nuts and threw a spear at me. Your own mother? 
Where do you think you're going, you little runt? Get back here and finish your chores! Mom was really scary. She sounds so extreme. Potato. You want it? I think you're evil. But if Miranda hadn't interfered, I would have never met you, Yuki. What do you mean? You crashed in Anfog Woods because of Miranda, remember? On that first night. Can't argue with that. It still burns me up, though. She must have done it because she loves you. The bird's call tells me your heart. The morning dew drops carried off by desert winds are as my tears for you. Cat, get out of my screen! <laughs> You're welcome here, but... What's that song, Donna? It's an old lullaby, sung in Bakula for ages. Someday, children may go on a sealing mission and never return. A parent's love. I can understand that, but... I've always dreamt of flying. The sky is my world, and it always will be. A lullaby, huh? My mom could get pretty violent if she ate like a pig, but her singing was great. Everyone has to go out on a journey someday, whether it's to chase their dreams or to fulfill a mission. We better get going. Next stop, Milk Ruins. Yes, the time is now. Our path has been determined. Let us go and see the mighty guardian. The sands of time flow on. O oh, mighty Yacht, protect us on our journey. Once we go up in the sky, we won't be able to come back for a while, so I'd better enjoy this stew while I can. I wonder what the guardian of the sky looks like. Flying is like breathing to me. And there's no part of the sky I can't conquer. Let's go. The ore pointed up in that direction. To the sky. Hold on a minute. Uh, I've still got something to take care of here. Still something to be done? <laughs> you got it. Come on, just a few more. You gotta love them. The sky. Oh my god, I'm not gonna spoil it, but. Oh, that's so funny. Let's go. The ore pointed up in that direction. To the sky. Right, let's get going. <laughs> I think I overdid it. My stomach. <laughs> Great. If I get too fat, she will never forgive me. Question. Lucky book. Lucky book. Monster drop. Lucky book. Drop from an unexpected monster. Well, as many of you have no doubt tried to do, I killed as many sheep as I could stand, and I went after as many stupid jackalopes, lucky mix, as I could stand, and never got a hint of a lucky book. Well, I broke open all my eggs, got Alfina and Donna the best spells, and equipped with either eggs, as well as equipping Berserker on Yuki and Alf. Now that I had the Time Stop ability from the Guardian of the Milk Ruins, I was all ready to go back in and have it out with the stupid pink rabbits, when on the way, one of the red beasts pops out like normal. I tried my new Absolute Zero as I sliced my five hitters both on him. 6k damage and about six hits later, he died. Excellent win. Boom. Lucky book drops from him. 
I don't know if this was just my time to be lucky as hell or what, but you guys might want to try them. It's a lot better than wasting days killing sheep or leveling to 99, killing the rabbits and ruining the gameplay after. Yep, the red beasts actually have a decent drop rate for the lucky book. I get my first one from them all the time. I've got the book and they recommend the lucky things, but if those red beasts drop more frequently, then I'll go that route. Thanks, buddy, and Light of Judgment and Code Gurus. That's cool, because, uh... The Lucky Book... The, those, uh, yeah, those, uh, red beasts are on milk, so, uh... It took me about four hours in my playthrough to actually acquire one. Aerial combos will make you go faster. I've actually been trying to do aerial combos at the start. It might have taken me less time to find one. Once you get one of them, though, it only takes like 20 minutes to find three more. Thanks, this is my third playthrough of Gravity 3. Before I got like a... Yeah, okay. Cool. Though it is nice to get them as soon as possible. I'd prefer a red beast hunting. I had a 2-2 during my first one. Okay, granted I'm about to answer money, but I looked at the one FAQ, and it said if you have the lucky book, you could put a legendary thief, it will improve drop. And to me, this sounds odd, since on you, he had to have the Slayer's book equipped, and it provide more bars than the lucky book. So I'm looking for more information than the FAQ thing. Mm, I got my first one off a of red beast in the milk without even knowing to drop them. I was just running through the place trying to get through, and got lucky enough to get one. Just wondering where a good place to get some more would be. That and what draws the FAQ display? As far as how to get more, the easiest way would be to fight the Wool enemies up the non in planes, if you still get them there. Otherwise, getting them off the same enemy you wanted for the first time should work fine. Really, once you score one lucky book, max out the skill and get a hold of the Heaven's Blade, it's almost effortless to get another lucky book. All you have to do is kill the enemy that drops it with you. Yeah, straightforward. <laughs> yeah, here. Okay, after getting my first lucky book by complete chance, I went back to the Wool Wolves to try to get another. After an hour and getting nothing, I decided to go back to the Red Beasts and the Milk Ruins. I kid you not, after killing maybe 20 of them, I had three more books. Then I went to gotta get a Heaven's Blade and got three in one clearing of the Jade Golems. My question is this, why get four lucky books, and what is the point of the Heaven's Blade after getting the books? Yeah, um, all it does is plus 25 attack, which is weak, and it says it makes the person luckier. And there's something I'm missing, because it doesn't hit too hard. Ultra writes, The Heaven's Blade increases the quality of the drop items. This is what I was talking about earlier. Each enemy has four item drop slots. The Lucky Book has a skill that guarantees an item drop if you kill an enemy with that skill equipped. The Heaven's Blade raises the chances of getting the rarest item drops if Yuki is the one that kills the monster. Combined, it basically means you almost always get one of the three rarest drop items. The plus experience skill is nice as well, but there's another use for it too. A lot of enemies have stat boosting skills as one of their rarest items. The Lucky Book, combined with the Heaven's Blade, allows you to farm those items very easily. It also allows you to acquire the rarest equipment drops from enemies, especially in the final dungeon where almost every enemy has at least one stat boosting item. You can use that to power up easily for the final boss. As far as I can recall, there's only one Master Book. Yeah, I haven't been using, um... Where is it? Excuse me? Um, I thought I had seeds. So I guess I have been using them? <laughs> I thought I wasn't. Oh well. Okay, but yeah. Alright, looks good. Let's get this back to PC and Live 2 and uh, get this in a full screen. What's that? Good. Okay. Um, sounds good. Well, um... The place to go is milk. And, honestly... I think I'm gonna go there. I know we played a lot. Uh, actually, no. Fine. You're irresponsible. This is, a. Uh, Good point to stop. Two hours, one minute, thirty seconds. Whatever. That's good to me. Um, we'll save up and head to Melk next time. Gonna do that and uh, check out what's over there. Alright. Pretty exciting 
stuff. And yeah, we can uh, head for that... The uh, Red Beasts there to get the Lucky Book, and that will get us on track for getting that Heaven's Blade. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> cool stuff.